Hello guys, today I am going to show you how to make a touch switch with on and off options with 555 timer IC. So let's get started. Let's see the circuit diagram. Pin number 1, 5. 1 is connected to the ground, 5 is connected with a capacitor and then it is connected to ground. The value is 0 0.01 microfarad. Pin number 4, 8. These both are connected and then it is connected to plus VCC. Here I am applying 5 volt. Pin number 3 is the output. We will connect the output here. This is the output LED and then it is connected to ground. Now come to the touch plate. In this project we will have two touch plate. One is for turning on the output and another one is for turning off the output. Pin number 2, pin number 6. This touch plate is for turning on the output. This is for turning off. This plate is connected to ground through a 1 mega ohm resistor. We also have to connect one resistor and this resistor is connected to plus VCC. Here also one mega ohm. If you want to control some other device like 220 volt electric bulb or any other device like that then you have to connect one relay or optocoupler with this pin. I already explained in other video that how to connect one optocoupler with this 555IC. Link in the description below. Or if you want to connect one relay then just connect one transistor here it is NPN, any NPN transistor. Then connect its base with 10 kilo ohm resistor to the output pin. This emitter is connected with the relay coil and another pin of the relay will go to the ground. Okay. And this collector is connected with plus VCC. So this is the basic circuit. Now let's see the breadboard connection. Put the triple 5 IC. Pin number 4 is connected to plus VCC. Also the pin number 8. Pin number 1 is connected to ground. We have to connect one 0 0.01 microfarad capacitor with pin number 5. Then another pin of capacitor is connected to ground. One 220 ohm resistor is connected with pin number 3. Then with this resistor I am connecting one LED and the cathode of the LED is connected to ground. Pin number 2 is connected to plus VCC through 1 mega ohms. Pin number 6 is connected to ground through 1 mega ohms. Now it's time to make our touch plates. We can make touch plate with aluminum foil like this. You can take any other conductive metal plates to make the touch plate. I have connected this wire to the aluminum foil, okay? And I am pasting it here. So here is our two touch plates. For example, I am taking this plate as on plate, this one for off plate. Okay. Now we have to connect these two plates. The off plate is connected to pin number 6 and the on plate is connected to pin number 2 of the IC. Now connect both the negative rail and the positive rail. Okay, now connect the power supply. Now see, it is on, it is off. Just you can slightly if you touch it, then it will work. Again if you touch it, it will not, it will not do anything. 
because it is already on. Now just slightly touch it. See? Okay. Now I will show you how to connect the relay. Just put the relay, put the transistor. I am taking here BC548. BC548 because it can supply up to 100 milliampere and this current is enough for our this type of relay okay with this relay we must have to connect the free wheeling diode and I have already explained why we have to connect this diode with the relay link in the description below the diode is connected the diode is connected in this position the anode pin of the diode must go to ground and the cathode of the diode should go to the other side okay emitter of the transistor is connected this side of the relay because here I have connected the cathode side okay and the anode side of the diode should go to the ground so this is the correct way to connect free wheeling diode and the relay now connect one 10 kilo ohm resistor to the base of the transistor pin number 3 is connected to this resistor and collector of transistor is connected to plus VCC now see whether it works or not I think you can hear it the tick tick sound of the relay okay so our relay is working so guys this is all for today i hope you like this video if so then please like share and subscribe to my channel and if you have any doubt on this then please let me know in the comment section in the next video i'll show you another topic till then stay happy and i will see you in the next video thanks for watching